Good morning everyone, it is Michelle and it is our Sunday Live, Sunday Mornings with the Angels. Thank you so much for joining me on a Sunday morning where we share our messages for the week ahead, some divine guidance that we can tap into and some inspirational universal principles that can assist us to navigate our choices, our decisions and just moving more into the heart, more into the heart. So welcome and good morning. Let us know when you are here. Say hello and also remember when we do a live um, you can also ask questions about the topic or any questions that you might have in relating to your week ahead on a Tuesday evening we do angel messages and cards for everyone um, but on a Sunday morning you're more than welcome to also ask a question perhaps maybe something has been troubling you so troubling you so so in the preparation this morning um, for this specific live please do you can either DM me or you can ask questions on this thread if there is something specifically that's troubling you in this moment and our message for the week ahead was with Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael can truly assist us to find that confidence within, can assist us to, to clear out negative thoughts, to just really move more into our personal power and into our confidence, to get things done, to really move forward and move away from the limitations or the limiting beliefs that you held on so tight with regards to your past. The Nine of Michael is a beautiful message and it actually says that your worry is unnecessary. Good morning, Almin. Hello, beautiful Bianca. Thank you for watching. So isn't it amazing to know that your worry is unnecessary? And where are you guiding your thoughts? What thoughts are you holding at this time? Are you holding thoughts of regret, of guilt, of not feeling good enough? Or are you holding the thoughts on the outcome that you really, really desire? Are you holding your thoughts on the outcome that is for the highest good of everyone concerned? Are you holding your thoughts on truth and love and respect and harmony? Or are your thoughts based on this will never work? This has never worked in the past. I'm not good enough to do this. Um, I cannot do this because I failed in the past. Or what if it doesn't work out? Those thoughts are low vibration thoughts. And what they do is the more that you keep on thinking those thoughts, the more you will be in the energy of the negative, in the energy of the failure, in the energy of the doubt. So our inspirational message for the week says, your worry is unnecessary. Focus on the outcome you desire and release feelings of regret, guilt or worry to your angels. Look how beautiful is that. It's just this beautiful being contemplating and just looking out and, and feeling the hope and feeling the support and feeling the release. You know what an amazing release it is if you, if you don't worry anymore? You know what an amazing release it is if you feel harmony, if it, if it just feels that there's a new slate there's a new beginning that right now in this moment I can start new that nothing in my life will prevent me from moving where I want to be, from moving where I want to go. There's nothing that is standing in my way right now. Morning, Kenneth. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Love to London. <laughs> There is nothing that is holding you back at this time. Your journey up until this point has provided you with opportunity, with experiences, with learnings, with blessings, with resourcefulness, with wisdom that you can tap into at any time. And
and if you do fear that there's maybe some information that you don't have yet or that some pieces of the puzzle are missing you have to trust that it will come to you at the right time but you have to take the step first if you are yearning for that new beginning if you are moving into an energy or a space of ask, believe, receive, you have to take the first step. You have to say, yes, I'm going to do this. You have to say, yes, I want this. You have to say, that is the decision I'm making. And then trust that you will be supported from there. And then what if it's the wrong decision, Michelle? I get that question so often. What if the decision I'm making is wrong? In effect, there is no right or wrong decision. You are traveling on this journey. And if by any means you feel or the outcome is not what you'd expected or the outcome turns out differently than what you anticipated, then you have to trust that that detour was absolutely necessary. And you have to trust that at the time you were acting with all the love, all the intention, all the wisdom that you had at the time. And if you take that from it and you receive the blessing and you receive the learning and every step of the way ask for guidance, every step of the way pray, every step of the way meditate, become still, every step of the way stay connected to God, stay connected to the spirit within, stay connected to that place within you, that, that higher self within you that believes in the highest potential of who you are, that space that holds love, that space that holds truth, that space that holds integrity and respect and honor, and most importantly, that space that holds love pure unconditional love for yourself, for everybody around you, for your loved ones and the compassion. Isn't compassion a beautiful energy to move with in this week ahead? Compassion is non-judgmental. Compassion doesn't say, I feel sorry for you. Compassion doesn't say, I am looking down on you. Compassion says, I am with you. I'm walking with you. I'm carrying the load with you. And where your heat, when your heart is a little bit weak, I'll open my heart so that you can receive some of the love from my open heart. Can we in this week ahead have compassion for ourselves, have compassion for those around us, have compassion for the journey you've had and the present moment. Open your heart so that that love that you're extending can be a beacon for someone else as well. But most importantly, you know what happens when you extend your heart in that manner? Yes, it can carry a loved one during a troubled time. But most importantly, it makes you strong. It makes you so strong. And that love doesn't only make you strong. It gives you the courage. It gives you pure intention. It supports you. It opens the portal of wisdom. There is nothing that love cannot heal. There is nothing that love cannot change. There is nothing that love cannot manifest. And it becomes your portal of light, your portal of wisdom, your portal of connection, of change, of pure light and beingness. And so I want to encourage you in this week ahead to start here. Hello, Di, welcome. <laughs> Thank you for being here. I want to encourage you in the week ahead to start where we started, to stop worrying, to not even give those feelings of guilt or regret unnecessary worry any more thoughts. 
And if you say, well, this is very difficult, then simply redirect your attention. Simply divert your focus at that time of worry. Divert your focus to something good. Divert your focus to something else so that you don't ponder and recreate all the thoughts related to that worry. So start there this week. Hand over. Start on this slate of confidence. Open your heart with love and compassion to yourself. Make that decision that you have been procrastinating on. Say yes on that thing that you wanted to say yes for so long now, but just didn't have the courage because you were afraid of the failure. So start there. And then as you move, as things change as a result of your decision, as you move into new learnings and perhaps sometimes unfamiliar territory, then use the beautiful energy of compassion to be your guiding light. You know, compassion for yourself leads to compassion for others. You can't first give compassion to others and then neglect yourself because you cannot give away what you don't have. And if you start there, then you'll have a week of new beginnings. You'll have a week of the outcomes that you desire. You'll have a week where things will be falling into place for you because it started with you. It started with you and taking the hand of Archangel Michael and asking Archangel Michael to walk with you, to be with you every step of the way, to strengthen you, to open up that courage within and to extend this compassion and the I am energy to yourself and to everybody around you and all those concerned with this situation. Move forward, dear ones, move forward. It is now the time and we cannot afford to, to hold ourselves back due to low vibrational energies as a result of guilt or regret. And if there's something really that you're battling with that you feel you just cannot move forward, um, ask for a mentor, ask for a teacher, ask for a wise friend to 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 be, be in touch with you so that the contact I'm receiving also now that sometimes if someone resonates with it you procrastinate and you put it off because you don't know who to go to like you are scared or you don't know who to call or you don't know who to phone and if this resonates with you then ask Archangel Michael ask your helper guides for the synchronicities to put people in touch with you to put the right mentors and teachers in your path exactly at the right time when you need it because you need assistance and healing with this specific issue move forward anyway don't now hold back and not take any action or make any decision until this person arrives Take the action, be in the present moment so that your eyes, your ears, your heart can be open and receptive. You cannot be receptive if you're continuously worried about the past. You cannot be receptive if you're worried about the future. When you are receptive, it means I am in awareness. I am seeing, I am listening, I'm receiving. And as you then move forward, knowing that the right mentor or teacher will come your way, you have no doubt about that. And whilst that is happening, oh, sorry, whilst that is happening, I will trust my wisdom within. Whilst that is happening, I will move forward with healing, love and light. Whilst that is happening, I will bring the best version of me. Whilst that is happening, I will operate with true love and compassion and truth. Whilst that is happening, I will absolutely have faith. Whilst that is happening, I will believe in the truest, highest version 
of me and the wisdom that I hold. Whilst that is happening, I believe that I have a whole entourage of spirit helpers, guides and angels standing by, waiting to carry me, help me, support me when I need it. I am not scared. And because I feel that this specifically, this specific challenge or incident within me hasn't healed yet, it will not hold me back. I will receive the guidance. I will receive the right mentor and person to, to assist me at this time. And I will trust in my own healing light. I will trust in my own healing light. This was specific a message for someone that is listening right now that really needed to receive this because for too long you've been holding back because you believe that there's a specific challenge that you just cannot overcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I trust that that message um, was received with, with intention and healing. Thank you so much for tuning in. And so for those that are here, um, what I'm going to do, I will post this card in the blog, um, on tomorrow's blog, um, as well as this video. And for those that are not on my database yet, you can subscribe and then you will receive an email with the video links. You'll receive an email with the weekly messages and also daily messages as and when they come through. We are back from Johannesburg, so it's lovely to be in Cape Town again. And let us do some soul lights. Who would like a soul light in addition to the message for the week ahead? It's also so lovely just to sometimes share soul lights. And our angel retreat, you know, as I've been receiving the messages for this angel retreat, um, the one from the 6th to the 8th of September, it's really been phenomenal. The presence of the angels that we are going to experience, it is going to be a retreat to restore that connection, to restore that divine connection to move into holding that space of guidance within you. We're in the period where everyone and you included can connect, can connect with the angels, can receive guidance as you go. And this retreat is going to be all of that is going to allow you to experience that, is going to allow you to have individual sessions on your own with the angels and, and me standing by and just facilitating and empowering you um, when specifically you are in doubt or you have any questions whilst you're channeling. So it's going to be a retreat where you are going to learn to channel, where you are going to learn to work with your angels. So I do still have space left please do join us. Contact me if it resonates with you, but you feel that you simply cannot afford it at this time. Contact me. Let's make a plan and come and receive a weekend um, where you can learn how to connect and walk and talk and receive guidance as you go. So let us do some soul lights um, this morning for your week ahead. Kenneth, yes, I miss your catering. I believe that you are cooking with love. Love is your, cooking is your love language. Wasn't that your motto? And I believe you're cooking up a storm on that side. Morning, Christy, here is a soul light for you. I do what I love and I love what I do. <laughs> are you doing what you love, Christy? And while you're waiting to do what you love, are you loving what you do? Kenneth, I am inspired by who I am and can be. <laughs> hmm, how amazing is that? Bianca, I create my reality every day. If you do receive a soul light, then write it down somewhere 
or put it as a screensaver on your phone and really tune into the vibration of those words. Bianca, go and create your reality every day. <laughs> Die. I am a huge soul in a precious body. That is indeed true. A huge soul in a precious body. Tackle your week with the vibration of soul and at the vibe retreat with your higher self. <laughs> Hook in with your higher self every morning. Beautiful, huge soul. Maurice, how are you? I'm looking forward to seeing you this week. I cannot fail. I can only learn. What a beautiful soul light. It's so in relation to our message of earlier on. Almin. Ah, looking forward to connecting with you too in this week. I deserve everything I desire. Almin, you deserve everything you desire. Be in that beautiful deserving energy. Lorraine, I am a magnet for abundance and wealth. How amazing is it that a part of you is that magnet for for true abundance, for for healing. Everything that you feel, Lorraine, is abundance for you. Healing, light, love, joy, wealth, health. You're a magnet for that. And I'm wondering what would happen for us in the week ahead if you truly believe that. Um, and not only Lorraine, I feel this is also a soul light for every one of us. And so in relation to our message for the week ahead, what will happen if you divert <laughs> from anxiety and worry into believing you're a, ba you're a magnet for abundance and wealth? Oh my word, what will happen? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Who did I miss? <laughs> okay, so these are all the soul lights for this morning. Thank you for tuning in on this beautiful Sunday morning with me. Have a beautiful Sunday, fun day. Keep warm with loved ones. Sh tune into that compassion energy and divert your thoughts from anything that you feel is holding you back. Lots of love and have a beautiful, loveful week. Bye everyone.